Hey YouTube, what's up? I thought I would make a video outside today because there's never enough light in my house. I wanted to make a video response to the Pursuit blog, who chose to talk about homosexuality in this most recent video, which is interesting because I've been watching him for a while, and I actually wanted to make a comment on his page one of these days and ask him his views on homosexuality because, you know, as we all know, a lot of Christians, or at least the vocal ones, seem to, um, have definite opinions about gays and why they're going to hell and why we all should hate them. Um, but he has a very different view about it. Um, he has, I, and I'm pleased to see this, that he has the, um, what I would consider to be the, the real Christian view of, you know, love and acceptance for everyone, um, including gay people. Which I think is really refreshing to see because we don't see that enough on the internet or in the news or really anywhere. And that's not to say that there's not a lot of people that think that way, because um, I think a basic fact of life is that it's always the um, cranky and pissed off people that seem to make the most noise, so those are the ones you hear about, and you may think that they're the majority, um, i.e. all those Christians and people that talk about how we're going to hell and we don't deserve rights. I'm gay, by the way. Uh, I'm directing that to the Pursuit blog, not to the rest of my fans, because my fans obviously know that. Um, but yeah. So thank you for making that video. Um, I, I think it's a it's a good thing for um, people to hear. You know, Christians um, say something like that. You know, that to, to actually preach, you know, love and acceptance, and you know, God loves everyone, and all that good stuff. Um, as for me, I grew up Catholic. Um, I don't consider myself Catholic anymore. I don't really consider myself religious anymore. Um, that's not to say that I don't believe in something. Um, do I know what that something is? Is it God? Is it the flying spaghetti monster, I mean, who knows, you know what, how am I supposed to know, I'm just a human, but um, that's not to say there isn't something out there, um, but yeah, obviously if, if anyone has seen my coming out video knows that it didn't go very well, um, my mom is, she's Hispanic, um, and as you know, Spanish people, um, they're pretty hardcore Catholics, a lot of, all the Spanish speaking countries are pretty hardcore Catholic, and so she, it did not go over well. Um, and she actually made me, and I think I talked about this in my coming out video, but um, she made me go talk to Sister Rebecca at our church. Oh, I love Sister Rebecca. And she, she is what I consider to be the epitome of what um, a true Christian should be. She's just a big, huge smile, and she just radiates, you know, love and happiness and acceptance, and she's just amazingly awesome. You know, and the, the first thing I did when I sat down, you know, she's like, God loves you. And I'm like, well, thank you. That's pretty cool. That's a nice thing to say. But, um, the, um, religion, yes, I, I have to say that I don't believe in organized religion. Um, I think it's a means of controlling people. I think it's a way to have a system of government that isn't government. Um, and by that I mean, you know, a government you could revolt against. Um, you know, government are made by people, they can be brought down by people, and they can be changed by people, but, um, you get these religious organizations and they have the power of the government, they can tell you what to do, they, and they can tell you what to think, um, but there's no checks and balances because anything they say is a mandate from God, and that's just it. There's, there's nothing you can say about it, there's nothing you can do about it, and if you're against them, then you're against God, and you're an evil person, and that's just it. So that's, that, that is my beef against them. And, um, I think what they should be there for is, you know, to, to preach, you know, love and acceptance when in reality um, a lot of them are just there to gain power and to push their agenda. And that's what I don't like about it. So, okay, I apologize if I seem to ramble and I go between topics without any, you know, sense of what the hell I'm talking about because I have a billion things on my mind about this whole thing. But, yeah, I mean, I really think... I, I don't have a problem with people of faith, um, but I do have a problem with organized religion. So that's really what it comes down to. Let's see, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, yes, I, I found it very interesting um, when you talked about in your video that um, I just had a person drive by and look at me very funny because I'm making a video. <laughs> okay, I, I found it interesting in your video where you talked about how you know you grew up you know in a strict religious family and you were yourself homophobic. Um, until you got a job where you worked around a lot of gay people and um, you learned, you know, that they were actually just people too. And 
I think really that's what this whole thing comes down to about people hating gay people is that it's really easy to demonize a concept and you know gay is a concept right and it's really easy to demonize that concept but it's really hard to demonize people so as long as they can keep you hating the concept of gay people and making you never want to know gay people and never get to know them then you know they can keep that hate alive um, whereas if you actually meet gay people and you talk to them and you become friends with them then you realize that you know they're just people they're like you and me and and really, you know, we're, it, if you believe in God and we're all the children of God, then we're all just one family, right? So why can't we all just be one big, shiny, happy family? Uh, anyway, do I have anything else I want to talk about? No, I think that's it. Um, I, I think it's great um, that you said you were going into seminary and... Um, I think it's great that people, you know, with enlightened views like you are actually, you know, going into something like seminary and, and hopefully, you know, you'll, you'll talk to people and you'll spread your beliefs of, you know, how, you know, God is, you know, and Jesus accepts people and loves people and, you know, it's not man's job to be criticizing people and, I mean, who knows what's going to happen when we die. I mean, really, in the end, even people, even if you believe in God, we don't really know what's going to happen when we die. We just know what we believe is going to happen, and in the end, if God does exist, it's, he's going to decide what the hell happens when we die. So, I think it's cool that people like you um, are going into, you know, um, into seminary, and, you know, will be, have your own group of people that you can talk to and make them turn out to be rational people. So, I think that's neat. And I do enjoy your videos, and I'm glad you made this video. And that's it for today. All right. Until next time, YouTube, I will talk to you guys later.